So Doug, welcome to Grimsby. Just just how excited are you to be joining the club? Yeah, buzzing, to be honest. Um, something that I've wanted for a little while now. Uh, so, not to use a cliche, but now it's finally over the line. Like I'm just looking forward to being with the lads and, and getting started. And what was it about Grimsby that, that attracted you to come here? It's a big club. It's, it's, a, it's a really big club, to be honest. Um, first time I played there last year, we were in the cup. Um, and just being in the stadium, you could feel like that there was a presence there. Um, and then just speaking to people, obviously like in football, you, you get to know people and, and getting their opinions and, and everyone sort of says that Grimsby is like a sleeping giant. Um, and then obviously like the more I look into it, you know, it's, a, it's quite a close knit community club. Um, and they're the clubs that I've found the biggest sort of attachment to in my career. Um, so I feel like it's a good fit. And have you spoken to the manager prior to coming in or anyone in particular about, about coming here? Uh, met the manager for the first time this morning. Um, really impressed, to be honest. Um, I feel like there's a lot of similarities between us uh, in the way we approach things. And uh, other than that, I've just not really come across anyone that's worked with him, but anyone that, that knows of him is, you know, says that he's honest, he's upfront. Um, and that, that's something that I'm looking forward to. And for those, how did the sort of move come about? Like, is it the last seven days or have you known about it a bit longer? Um, I got uh, like I got told by the manager last night at Blackpool uh, and then I'm here this morning. So it's about as quickly as it happens. Obviously you hear rumours and you, you, you sort of have an idea. Um, but as it is in football, like you never really know what's happening until it's already happened. Uh, so for it to have happened so quickly and, and to already try to integrate into the team, I'm, you know, I'm really happy. And on that integration, you know Harvey Rogers from your time at Accrington yeah. together. Is that maybe a bit of a helpful part for you that you already know someone in the dressing room? Yeah, yeah, I've not actually spoken to Harvey yet, I've not had a chance. Um, but I think just having that familiarity, um, just a, a, like, a, a nice face around the place. Um, I was with Raquel at Wrexham a few years ago um, when I was a young lad, so again, he's a familiar face, but I'm just looking forward to getting to know everyone. Um, it's a new squad, it's something, you know, I've got to earn my place in that squad. Um, you know, you can't take anything for granted in football, so the earlier I can just get on the pitch and um, get him, you know, in with the lads and then, and then hopefully in front of the fans at some point, that's, that's what I'm hoping for. And for the fans that might not know much about you, how would you describe yourself as a player? Um, I'd like to say good. Some people probably disagree at times, but um, no, I'm a, I'm a defender first and foremost, uh, and then I like to learn. So any, any way that the manager wants me to play, I always feel like I can adapt. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm getting more and more sort of experienced in football, um, and I'd like to use that experience going forward and, and continue to learn. And finally, what are your sort of aims now for the, the rest of the season and, and, and beyond with, with Grimsby? Uh, I think first and foremost, as I said before, I've just got to earn my place. Um, you know, I've got to show the lads what I can do, um, and then hopefully at some point I can I can get onto that pitch and uh, and show the fans what I can do. And then I think I think there's there's pretty great aspirations for this club, and I'd, I'd like to be a part of that.